Career Fest weekend finally here. As last minute preparations continue for the party on our riverfront, there is some really good news here for those who want to enjoy the show from their boats. Local 12's Christian Hauser live with that information and more on the plans for the Big Bash. I am so happy to hear this reversal we're going to be talking about, Christian. You and thousands more across the tri-state. Paula, I was there when the Coast Guard made the announcement earlier today, and you could tell that they were just happy to give these boaters the chance to come out here and enjoy the show on Sunday. Now, the Coast Guard made the decision on Wednesday to close it off and not allow boaters on here due to the high river forecast. But they did keep an eye on that, and the forecast kept improving each day. And finally, it improved enough to where they felt it was safe to reverse the decision. Now, this water level, though, it is expected to increase throughout the day and into the overnight tomorrow morning, and then finally start receding. But that high water level is also causing some changes on the shore as well. So if you're planning on setting up on the serpentine wall, you will not be allowed to do so until noon on Sunday. Anyone staking their claim beforehand will have their stuff tossed and there will be police officers frequently coming through the area. Now for the boaters, the Coast Guard will have two boats on the water in addition to what is out there locally. And remember, just because it's back on doesn't mean there are not dangerous conditions possible. Not being able to provide that level of safety to the public uh, led us to make the decision to not allow vessels to be on the water during the river works, uh, Riverfest fireworks and to simply allow folks to watch from the shore. But with these updates and the ability to actually be out there and respond in case there is any type of uh, incident on the water, it, uh, it allows us to proceed as, as traditionally remembered by the, the folks of Cincinnati. Now, in years past, we've had hundreds, if not thousands of boats in the water here, uh, pretty much east of the Purple People Bridge and then west of the Taylor Southgate Bridge. Now, it'll be interesting to see how many people make the trip and get set up for the fireworks. And I'm sure it's just a matter of time before we see the first person or group get set up and drop anchor here. Live in Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Yeah, Christian, I have to tell you, someone who lives on the river, what do I tell you, Kyle, all the time? We it's, love the boats as much as the anything. Best part that of night. Fest it's for you. so awesome. Awesome. It's an all-day thing. If you don't plan to head to Riverfest by boat or car, don't forget you can watch the fireworks from home. Yes, that's the best seat. Local <laughs> 12 will broadcast the show beginning at 9. The show in the sky will start just a few minutes later, but be there by 9. Yeah, because you snacks. don't want to miss a no, moment no, of no. this incredible show. Mm -hmm.